From the outside, it looks just like any other modern-day church, nestled in a quiet suburban cul-de-sac. But behind the walls of the Macedonian Orthodox Church in North Perth, an extraordinary work of art is unfolding. Perth's modern-day Michelangelo has spent 16 years on his masterpiece, painting every wall, ceiling and dome. And he still has a long way to go. Mark Bennett reports. Good morning. This is where I live. But what you might be interested to see is not here. It's in the other building. It would be fair to say that painter Stefan Adamace leads a simple life in his sleep out at the back of a North Perth church. Well, usually I wake up at six o'clock in my little room at the back of the church there. I live here like a monk almost. But just a short stroll from his room, he lives in another world. Every morning, he ascends to the ceilings of Perth's Macedonian Orthodox Church of St. Nicola. To the giant canvas that he started 16 years ago. Well, this is a bit of an improvisation because normally I use, I use a, an overhead projector. But in this instance, I did the design on the ground. Stepping inside Stefan's life is to walk into biblical history, told through the Byzantine images that adorn every wall, ceiling and dome. This church is dedicated to Saint Nicholas and on, on this ceiling we have aspects of his life, starting with the uh, birth and baptism, uh, his schooling years on that side, uh, some miracles he performed and ending with his death. He's painstakingly traced the outline and then hand painted every image, layer upon layer, spending up to 16 hours a day recreating stories from the Bible. Stefan was a mechanical fitter in communist Romania before turning his hand to sign writing. I was doing signage for communist propaganda. Well, somebody had to do it. And I'm telling you, it was a better life than going under the machines, being uh, covered in oil from head to toe. It was an easier job, easier life. And when communism collapsed, he followed an interest instilled by his mother, leaving Romania to study iconography. Actually, the first thing I learned uh, with my master iconographer in, in Greece, where I learned this trade, uh, was to trace models the Greek word for uh, somebody who paints holy figures is ikonographos, which means uh, icon writer. So I am basically writing the icons, not painting them. And the tradition goes even further by saying that uh, the painter actually is not doing the work by himself, but inspired by the uh, by God. When he migrated to Australia, it didn't take him long to find a church community who were looking for an iconographer. I'm lucky and to be grabbed by the, this Macedonian community to whom the church belongs. Uh, and they say they're lucky finding me. Probably it's reciprocal. He took five months to paint the main dome of the church, perched on top of scaffolding. But unlike Charlton Heston, who portrayed Michelangelo in the movie The Agony and the Ecstasy, he didn't lie flat on his back. Well, I'm telling you, you can't lie down and, and paint on a, on a flat ceiling. Just the, the moving from the from the jar next to you to the painting would, would have killed him in, in no time. With the exception of two breaks a year when he visits his wife in England, Mr. Adamachi has been painting the North Perth Orthodox Church ever since. 
Surrounded by tradition and the icons of ancient ecclesiastical mythology, the new generation of Macedonian Orthodox faithful have become modern-day patrons to his art. The tradition in our church is that each work is donated by someone who take pride in having their names written down as donors of that particular work. And that will be there as long as the church will last, hopefully hundreds of years. Sketches in the dome of the Virgin Mary are ready to be painted. Every available space is booked and the donors have paid up front. There's talk that tourists could provide an income for the church. I think they, they are looking into organizing uh, sort of tours so the people outside the church can come and see because when this will be completed, I believe it will become quite a, a landmark in, in the city. Or even selling merchandise from the artist himself, a rags to riches story. Look at that. You can frame that. Picasso. No way. <laughs> Meantime, there's enough work to keep Stefan going for at least three more years. Has he got another masterpiece in him? Considering that I'm approaching 60 uh, next year, I wonder if I would be able to paint another church after this, completely. How would you like it to be remembered? Well, just Stefan's church should be enough.